We did not get the call. Uh, I did say in the last video that I was probably gonna fly, but I just went six days with no call. So the streak lives on. We are probably at like 100 days. For those that are new here, I'm Joey Muccio. I'm an airline pilot out of the Tampa airport. And it's been a long time since I got the call. Um, I just went back to training, so I am current now and ready to fly. We do training every 12, you know, every six, every six months, but every 12 months for an actual currency check. So anyway, we are actually back on call today, starting at noon, it's 7.50 in the morning. And we're just starting to get back into our run training post two marathons. I just ran Chicago and New York, took a week off. And then now we are back running again, but just three days this week and then back to six days next week. So we have four miles on the plan. It says three to four, but I'm just gonna do four. It's a beautiful run down here, right towards a beach, towards uh, North Shore. So we're just having some coffee, getting the morning started. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning, a little bit cooler out. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get after it. Fit. We got the Nike Invincible Threes, ASRV socks, ASRV shorts, Numa nasal strip, ASRV hat, and the Shox Open Run Pro 2s, and then I rock the Koros Apex 2 Pro, which I do want to get the pace, honestly. Also, four miles is not really normal for me. This is actually like a, a much shorter run than I've been doing recently, but it's kind of good just to get yourself back into the the groove of running first before you just start like getting like back into it too hard. You kind of want to gradually increase your mileage. So that's what we're doing here. Just running three days this week, basically 12 miles. And then next week we're gonna go back up to like 29-ish miles and then start to build from there. The plan is I'm doing the half marathon in Austin, Texas. Then I'm doing uh, the Eugene Marathon. I'm gonna race that one. I think I'm gonna go for a sub 255 or maybe sub 250. And then I'm gonna run the Grandma's Marathon in June. And that'll just be like a fun run. And then also, I've been talking about it a little bit, I'm gonna start getting into some Ironman triathlon training. I just bought a bunch of swim gear. I'm gonna get myself a bike. So I'm gonna start mixing that in. And I might do you know swim bike and then run five days a week depending on, on, on how I'm feeling but anyway just starting to get back into it I've been lifting the last week trying to put back on some size I'm back up to like 185 pounds now I started my marathon prep for Chicago around like 195 and then came all the way down to like 180 honestly so I lost some size lost some strength but now I'm trying to get big again so anyway we are getting back into it today getting the legs Shook out, and I'll take you on this beautiful, beautiful run to North Shore. All right, breakfast every day. If you follow this channel, you probably know what we're having. So five eggs and a bagel, and then I'm also trying to get better at getting some fiber and some fruit in. So I'm gonna do a banana along with some blueberries as well. So I like to really just focus on protein and carbs, but my buddy Dan Churchill hit me with fiber and I need to focus more on fiber as well. So we're just gonna make sure we hit fruit like every single day, uh, probably mostly in the mornings. But yeah, that's pretty much the breakfast I do every single day. Five eggs, a bagel, starting the day with some protein and some carbs. And if I do like a longer run, I will typically carve up a little bit before my run as well. You know, this morning was just a four mile run, so you know, I don't mind doing that fasted, just with some water, some coffee. Don't really need to, you know, have too many electrolytes for such a short run where I'm not gonna be sweating for a very long period of time. But uh, yeah, that's it. Just use some butter. If you have a Publix near you, this roll butter, this Amish country roll butter, it's just massive. So I love it. And then I've been doing these um, Thomas bagels, which honestly I was looking at the ingredients and they're not very good. So I should probably switch to some sourdough for my 
my carbs instead of these bagels, but it is what it is. It tastes pretty good. All right, breakfast time. So, five eggs, bagel, blueberries, a banana, and also, if you haven't noticed, I'm rocking the Got The Call shirt that I just launched. Just launched it yesterday, actually. Um, but my video went out, what is it, two days ago? So that was the first time I actually talked about the shirt. But they are live, link in the description. I'm gonna give a shout out. This is live for one day and we made, made some sales. So I appreciate you guys for, for buying so far. So I'm gonna give a shout out to everybody that purchased and then I'm gonna box them up and ship them out today. So I got a printer, thanks to Allie. Gracie's brother's girlfriend owns a clothing company and she knows how to do all this stuff. And so she told me the printer to get, helped me out, set it up. So I got these little um, sticker shipping labels set up through the account where I can you know, see the orders come through. So yeah, let's see the orders. Um, so Juan, Simon, Liam, Mary, Nick, Luan, Donald, ordered two shirts. Shout out to Donald, thanks brother. Fernando, Luke, Aaron. Aaron, shout out to you, you were the first order. I shipped yours out yesterday actually. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. I just wanted to make something. It's my first ever piece of apparel I've ever created. Um, and I noticed and people started saying, oh, we got the call. When are you getting the call? Get the call. So I was like, I should make some got the call shirt. So I made them. I made them. They're a standard black tee with white lettering, cotton shirt, nice, the Hanes, the Hanes shirt. So, yeah, if you want to help support the channel, appreciate it. I don't really make much money on the shirts, to be honest, after shipping and everything and whatnot. But I just wanted to do this like a learning experience for me and just something to give you guys uh, if you want it. Um, and maybe I'll do some giveaways and stuff um, as time goes on. But yeah, thank you guys for ordering. And thank you guys if you want to order some in the future. So anyway, it's 1030, get breakfast done. I got an hour and a half until I'm back, back on call. All right, just realized that the audio was going in and out. I think the mic was dying on our run. So yeah, run was it's a little over four miles, like 4.18 miles at an 8.18 pace. Nice and easy, average heart was 143. And then we came back, hopped in the cold plunge. Right now the cold plunge, I have it at 45 and I've just been doing two minutes. I used to do three minutes at 37, but honestly, it was just killing me. Like, it hurt my bones. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was like, am I gonna get the same benefits at 45 for two minutes? Probably. Um, so anyway, yeah, the reason I use a cold plunge, just wakes me up. It's refreshing after a long run. It's supposed to help out with uh, metabolism, and also just your endorphins, like your mental mood. Um, also, if you, if you wanna like learn more in depth about it, I've talked about it before, but Andrew Huberman had a uh, doctor, Susanna Soberg on, she wrote a book called The Winter Swimmer, and they go all under the benefits of cold exposure. I am more so invested in the benefits of sauna. I think those are more highly documented and are just like, I think like if you could pick one or the one or the other, the, the sauna benefits are more exact and studied. But anyway, I like the cold punch. I do, especially after a long run. And also the um, sponsor of the video is Coswheel. This is one of the coolest, the coolest sponsors that we've had so far. This is how Gracie was filming me on the run. Such a cool looking bike, I'll show you guys kind of features of it here in a second. But yeah, pretty freaking cool. I'll move this out of the way so you can see the whole thing. It's like a full-on motorcycle, but it's an e-bike. It goes 40 miles an hour. It's got blinkers and headlight, all sorts of cool features, but 
yeah, pretty epic. I'll show you the battery and just give me kind of a walk around of the bike real quick. Yeah, one of the craziest things about this bike is the range because the battery is just so freaking big and powerful. I mean, look at that thing. It's as long as my leg, basically. A lot of power in this battery, a lot of power in this bike. Like I said, 40 miles per hour. Front headlight, blinkers, big beefy tires. Really cool. Big disc brakes, hydraulic brakes. A nice display screen here. You have pedal assist up to five. Five is gonna give you that 40. And then you can even just pedal it around if you want. It does have pedals, but it is pretty heavy. It's like an 80 pound bike. I like that it has a key too, just so people can't really, you know, steal it from you. And then you got gears up to seven. You got nice front and rear brakes. Just a really, really cool looking bike. Big back tire, mud guard. You got a big tail light back here. A spot for a license plate if you wanted. And uh, yeah, just a freaking sweet looking bike, honestly. I'm gonna hop inside and we're gonna ship out some of these orders and then use the bike to go, to go drop them off. So let's do it. All right, we are doing the orders right now. So we just got Simon Nix and Juan Vene, Venejas. And then we have Liam McCluskey. I'm doing all these real quick. Maybe I should sit down. This is going to freaking kill my back. First time doing this, so it's going to take me probably forever. But once I get more efficient, figure out my, my packing system, I'll get much better. Back in the Vine days, we did sell shirts, but I don't think we sold that many, honestly. That was, that was like over 10 years ago when we did that. If you don't know, that's how I got my start on social media, actually. By the way, we are officially on the call for the last 28 minutes. So my phone is ready to be called. So that's how I got my start on social media. Me and my brother started posting on Vine. We did some shirtless dance videos. You can probably find them on YouTube. If you want to check those out, probably don't want to check them out. But to those that know me from Vine, you guys are the real ones. You have been around for the long haul. But now I'm doing content that obviously I'm much more proud of. Being an airline pilot, being a fitness, Influencer, motivator. So I'm much happier with this with this content that I'm doing. Um, and look at all the orders he just packed. Got the call. Look, we got nine orders today. Nine orders. Oh yeah, going big time. Hopefully we can fit all these in the backpack. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> so seriously, guys. Like, I know this is like a super niche shirt, got the call, like, you wear it, people are probably like, what does that even mean? But, yeah, thanks for ordering, appreciate it. I'm excited to send it out to you and hopefully sell all of them and have to reorder some more. But if not, if I just sell these nine, I appreciate it. So I'm gonna send these out today and then come back and then, uh, Probably get a lift in hopefully before they call me and they do call me today. So that's it. They all fit. We're not on the bike. Head on down to the post office. Get these out to you guys. Also, I don't know if I said, but I will put a link in the bio for this bike. I think I have a discount code. If I do, I'll put it in text below. Um, I'll try to make it Joey M, but I'm not sure if they're going to give me a discount code. But anyway, I'm heading out to ship these babies off. It's got to be the best way to get around the city. If you have like an electric bike or a scooter or something like that, that is, that is the way to rip around. All right, shirts have been dropped off. This is the uh, USPS spot by me. It's like super, super old building. And it's like a half a mile from my place. So super convenient. Dropped off, I think, 10 orders. Thank you guys one last time for ordering. And uh, yeah, we're just going to head home and probably hit some back. I think back and biceps, doing a full day today. All right, pre-workout and daily vitamins for Manly. I just showed you what's in them. Basically, 
if you've been watching, you know I got my blood tests from them and I take these daily, sometimes one pack a day, sometimes two packs a day. These are my daily vitamins. So I'm gonna try to do them all. I've never done this actually. Wow, well, I did it. It's the first time I've ever done that. That was borderline scary and dangerous. I'm not very good with swallowing pills, but now I know I can swallow freaking six pills. Um, but yeah, my vitamin B12 was super low when I got my blood test back. My test was pretty low, and honestly, I knew my test was gonna be low. It's pretty low if you, you know, run a lot or do endurance activities. It usually brings your test low, and for me, it does affect me. First time I got blood tested when I was in ultra marathon prep, it was like 370 and the last time it was 420 or 430 or something. So I'm excited to see what it is after I've been taking this daily. And anyway, it's a really cool company. Comes back, tells you your blood results, and then it tells you things you could do in your life, diet, and lifestyle wise that can you know help you and help your whatever levels get back to normal or the optimal range. And then they also give you a nice natural vitamin pack of natural stuff like Tangat Ali, vitamin B12, all the stuff you saw on here and nothing not natural. I'm not ever gonna take tests, maybe when I'm like 60 or something. But anyway, 100% natural, nothing like that. But what I do take, creatine, and pre-workout. This is their endo pump, this is their non-stim, no caffeine in here, just helps with blood flow and pump. And then this is flight, this is their stim. So I'm just gonna do it all today. Um, why not? I need some energy, woke up kinda early-ish, and I'm starting to fade a little bit. So I'm gonna do a heaping scoop of creatine. I usually do like one, one to one and a half scoops of creatine. And then I'm gonna do a full scoop of endo pump. And I'll just do a half a scoop of flight for today. And then it's workout time. We're gonna hit some back and biceps out in the balcony. It's beautiful out, nice shade. Decent temperature. Let's get it. Also, any BPN supplements, code JoeyM, check them out. It's the good stuff. I'll have a protein shake after as well. I really, really like their stuff and they just have an awesome brand and Nick's awesome and the team's awesome. So if you do want to like support a cool brand with good people when you buy supplements, try BPN. All right, so back workout today. We're starting off with some pull-ups. We're gonna do five sets of 10 to 12 pull-ups. Then go into a barbell row. Same thing, five sets of like eight to 12. Then we're gonna go into a um, barbell curl. And then a hammer curl with the dumbbells. And then we'll go back to pull-ups at the end for three to five sets of failure on that. And then we'll hit some abs. A little bit limited on equipment here, so. No cable machine, obviously, that would be great for a back day, some lat pull downs, some cable rows, stuff like that. But basically, pull ups are gonna be my, my lat pull down, and I think pull ups are one of the best back workouts you could possibly do. And then, in terms of rows, we just have you know the barbell and the dumbbell. So, I usually transition between like three different variations of the row either our barbell row, overhand, underhand, or a you know single arm dumbbell row. You know, leaning up against the rack here off the box, and then um, also a chest supported off the bench row, which is great as well. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get it. In the gym, honey, we're trying to make gains, progressive overload is the most important thing. So how I like to define progressive overload is just doing more over time. Either that can be more reps or more weight for the same amount of reps or more reps for the same amount of weight. So here, 
obviously, you know, variety is really good too to be able to do different kinds of exercise, hit the hit the muscle group from different angles. But here I'm pretty limited, right? So I can't do like heavier lat pull downs. I could maybe do get a belt and load up, do some weighted pull ups, or I could just do more reps. So like last week I did five sets of 10 to 12. I did 12 probably for like three, and then 10 more so for two. Today I got all, all five sets of 12. And then here I did the same weight. Like let's say I got all 12 last, last week for five sets. Now I could do all 12 in the last set of 13, or I could just add some, you know, two and a halves on each side and try to get all sets of 12. And then it's good to mark that in your notes on your phone, on a piece of paper, wherever, you know, it's good for you to, to, to make notes for your workouts. So you can look at your notes and be like, okay, last week or last time I hit back, I did this amount of reps or this amount of reps at this weight. And then you can make adjustments from there. But typically I'll work in, in the eight to 12 range then every once in a while I will go heavier, try to get sets of five or three, especially on those compound movements where uh, just trying to build strength and power. But unlike isolation movements like this, it is kind of like a power movement. Maybe I would try to go heavy, but more so on bench or like a deadlift or a squat or something, I would start working towards like every once in a while, sets of five or sets of three, but any sort of like hypertrophy kind of focused exercise pull-ups, whatever. I'm just looking for improvement in that eight to 12 rep range, if that makes sense. So anyway, that was two sets. I'm gonna do another two and then I might see if I can get 13 on the last one to just progressively overload and work on getting bigger, and stronger here, I'm trying to get back up to like 190 in the next couple weeks before I start really, really diving back into marathon prep. Also, when I'm picking my rep range of eight to 12, if it's a weight that I wanna do eight reps at, for the first two to three sets, I wanna feel like I have two reps left in the tank. And then the last set, I go to failure. So for this, I'm doing sets of 12. When I get to 12, I kinda wanna feel like I have two left in the tank, or I'm going to failure. So on these last two, I'm gonna to go to failure, and that is where you're gonna make those gains, is pushing your body to that limit on those rep ranges, and more specifically going to failure. So, you basically wanna just trigger the body to be like, this is too heavy, we're not able to do this, let's get stronger so that we're able to do it. It's kinda of how I think about it, in very simple terms. All right, that is the workout done. Two back exercises, two bicep exercises. I didn't hit abs today. Typically kind of would. Um, and then post-workout shake, 50 grams of protein is actually a little bit more. Two scoops of VPN protein, some Fair Life, and like four ice cubes. If you don't know, add some ice cubes if you just do milk and protein powder or nothing else. It just helps it a little bit. Just a few. You don't have to add it, you know, like make it into a slushy or anything like that. But still on call, been on call for four and a half hours. Still no call, the streak is living on. Um, yeah, it's typically my, my day, especially when I'm on call, I can't really do too much, can't really go anywhere. It's a two hour call out, so I just hang around here, get some cardio done, either run around here, I can run on my treadmill, hit the bike here, work out here, and just kinda wait for that call, hit my lift, Thanks so much to everybody that ordered some shirts. I sent those out. I just got a couple more orders that I'm gonna pack up now. And um, yeah, that is like a morning routine slash half of a day in my life here on call. Hopefully the next video will be a flying vid. Uh, for those that really want those videos, I mean, I'm, I'm actually pretty anxious to go fly. Like I wanna go, I wanna go fly. It's been, it's been too long, but. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions of what you would want to see more in the future, I'm going to start getting more on the swimming, biking, um, maybe a high rocks, obviously continuing on the marathon training plan. So keep you in the loop on that. And um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. 
seriously helps the channel out so, so much. And if you want to directly, you know, help me out, buy a shirt, buy a Got the Call shirt. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys on the next one.